Welcome to my channel on May 15, uh, 2023. Today is my birthday and I don't have much planned because honestly birthday for me uh, since I grew up I would say um, it's it's nothing different and nothing special. Um, it's not like when you are a child and you are waiting for that day to happen. As time goes on is like you just want to be comfortable, eat what you want to eat, watch what you want to watch. If you want to go out, you go out. If you don't go out, you don't go out. It's like I don't need any more that um, much of an activity because it's, it's my birthday, right? And um, since I moved to Canada, um, when I was living for a few years in Vancouver, I lived for eight or nine years in Vancouver, and I did have friends there, of course, and we would go out and everything. But as with my career, I started moving around and um, I left Vancouver and then I went to the Okanagan. And then um, from the Okanagan, I started working in uh, Alberta, uh, fly in, fly out, but still working in, in Alberta. But I moved from the South Okanagan to the North Okanagan. So every time you move, it's like you live a part of your life behind because all those friends that you make and that you are enjoying with them and you um, share some moments with them even though not every day but uh, at least you have friends in town let's say but and if it's not because of my career it's because of their career they also have their own lives so it, it is life life takes you everywhere life Everything that happens is life. Right now, it is all super late. I got up because yesterday night I went, I went to bed too late. I did wake up at 7.30, but I decided to stay a little bit later because I also have that uh, visit of the month and I was feeling a little bit uh, tired. So I did stay in bed until 10, 10.30 or so. And got up, took a shower, did my facial, and got ready for the day. And today what I have planned is, right now I'm going to prepare my coffee. And uh, I think I have not shared how to make my coffee, how I make my coffee in the morning. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And I don't even use a conventional machine anymore. It's just uh, um, like this small machine. A coffee maker and is is the best to me is the best flavor I have my uh, cuisine art uh, with a grinder included in the bottom of this cabinet right here because I don't I don't use it anymore um, the coffee is from Costco it's a Kirkland coffee uh, the brand is Kirkland of course and uh, is the espresso blend and it's delicious and it's well i like dark coffee dark roast coffee um i like my coffee strong and uh well this this is the coffee i i chose and it's the first time i tried this one because i was always going with starbucks but starbucks it is good but it is not that good of a coffee this one is way better and uh, maybe after this one i try another one and see which one is the best but and if you have any ideas for the best coffee dark roast that doesn't leave you enough aftertaste because i hate when a coffee leave you, leaves you an aftertaste well that's not my kind of coffee for sure i like coffee that i can enjoy from beginning to end and after <laughs> if you know what i mean so yes uh, we are going to make coffee now, then after enjoying my coffee, what I have planned is cooking something and um, I think I'm going to take you along with uh, my cooking today. Um, I am going to find out what we are going to have for dinner today because actually right now and um, during these days I don't feel like eating anything. Um, Sorry, I have a call. I'll get back to you soon. Sorry, I have to cut the conversation there because I had another um, birthday call. 
So, well, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I am planning if everything goes well, because sometimes I plan and God decides. So I am planning off on making two recipes that I've been doing. I've been making a lot. And one of my recipes is already, or is going to be soon, in my vlog. Um, so let's start with making the coffee and so you are familiar with my kitchen already and um, so as you may know already I have the Insta360 X3 camera I love it I am still getting used to it and yes, it, it has a lot, a lot of good things and it for vlogging is one of the best, I must say. I think it's the best one, especially for me because what I vlog is uh, not only recipes and stuff, uh, but my recipes actually I have vlogged them with a different camera, uh, not with the Insta360 Insta because um, the other cameras focus more, I believe, or haven't tried with Insta360 to focus only on what I'm doing and not in myself, but what I'm doing, how I make the recipe. So, yes, you'll see that um, the, the quality of the video and everything is amazing. I um, have no complaints about it, on the contrary. And, uh, yes. I am using right now the monkey bar to hold the camera and right now I'm not using a mic, I have the Rode mic, uh, the Rode Pro I believe it is and um, it is really good but during my last hike which I actually crushed it compared to other hikes um, I was I forgot to I had with me in my camera bag I had the all the accessories including the mic uh, but I forgot to put it on the camera and on me the receiver and the sender this camera has a really good mic I didn't know that until that happened and when I came home I'm starting to look at the videos I took, a couple of them, and I actually heard myself clearly on top of the mountain and the summit, and with no imperfections whatsoever. The wind was not strong, so probably that helped, but still, there was a little bit of wind, and uh, with uh, either your phone uh, or any other camera, sometimes you hear nothing with wind. Now, what I am going to do is, um, I, as you saw, I put two scoops of um, coffee beans in the grinder. And now I'm going to put whole cloves. That's what I'm putting, five or six only. Besides, it's only for me today because I'm by myself at this time of the day. Um, it is almost noon, actually. But it is my birthday and that's how I decided to spend my day at my own time, not stressing about time or anything, just enjoying my day. And this is a black cardamom. And one only, one cardamom. That's how. And if you smell the cardamom, it's not that delicious, but when you put it here, it's the best. Sorry, I moved the camera right there. Now, we grind. So now, the only thing I don't like about this grinder is that I have to scoop out everything um, after I grind it, and it takes a while. And the best way, yeah, you can do it with a spoon, but the best way for me is with my finger, which is clean, by the way, so. Don't freak out. And see all the coffee here. I'll show you. 
what I'm doing. I think you can see it now. Yep, you can see. It. What I do is to put all the coffee, uh, to spread the coffee inside the machine. And like you can see, I always make a mess around, but I clean that after. Doesn't matter. This machine is very old. Into it, or on it. And then we put it on the stove in high. And we wait. Another thing I wanted to share about uh, my daily life is that um, I don't know if you, you've seen, I have it in my YouTube channel as well as in my Instagram. Um, yes, so as I was saying, uh, to show, to share something about my, my daily routine is that if you've seen in my channels, if you read uh, my description and everything, you will notice that I am minimalist. I was not minimalist at all. But um, being minimalist is uh, learning, actually. I'm still learning, and um, that's my mentality, um, of how to live with the minimum. That you don't, only what you really need. The only thing I need to learn how to be minimalist is with my hijabs. I have like a hundred of them. Um, yes, at least. And I've been giving away a lot as well. Uh, but I, I've i been, compared to what I was before, um, and I'm talking about before 2019, 20? 19, I'd say. Um, I am minimalist if you compare my the Magali from before 2019 and the Magali from now. I wanted to show you that you've seen already. See this? This I washed it yesterday night and throughout the day I wash and dry and put away because for the kitchen we have only what we need. We don't have anything extra. And we have a dishwasher here, right here, beautiful dishwasher. I've used this dishwasher probably a couple of times, two or three times, because when you don't have an abundance, like for example, eight plates or eight coffee mugs and so on, what you do is to use and reuse, even if I have three different recipes, for example, and the, the mixing bowls I have are four different, four big, um, too small so I, I have to wash them and reuse them so only little times I've had everything to fill up this dishwasher because yes when I'm cooking for example I need things right away and I can't wait for the dishwasher to to wash everything and uh, it is a waste of energy and um, energy and water and everything is the same because water helps with the energy as well so it's always a water water and energy to have a one hour hour and a half the dishwasher running with a half load only so yes my hands have felt it so i am working on having them hydrated with um, a lotions and so on and the um, argan oil from Morocco. This is Alia, and this is the argan oil I use for my face and for my hands and for anything. Not only for beauty, also for, uh, for example, if you have a burn or anything, Alia is the best. And it's pure argan oil. It's not a chemical argan oil that they sell at the pharmacy, um, included in uh, with so many other ingredients in one. Um, product it's that's only argan oil and if it's the highest quality actually it is it was tested by so many different entities in um, the US and also in Morocco and it's the highest so yes um, that's what we do <laughs> we hand wash instead of doing dishwasher I wanted to share that. 
and uh, I never thought I was going to be able to be minimalist, but I am getting better every day and I am I have in my kitchen only what I really need. So I'm going to stop here talking because coffee is ready and I'm going to show you how I make it. And then after that, what I am going to do is call in my family because they've been sending, sending me text messages. And let me do that see how they are doing. I have to put the dishes away. The clean dishes away. <clears throat> Not much. You can make it with honey or you can make it with um, sugar. This is organic sugar that we get from Costco. So I add two spoons of sugar and it's not much actually because this doesn't take much. <clears throat> then close to half cup of milk the maximum i add is half milk and this is oat sorry oat milk um, we don't drink milk anymore because the milk affects our stomach and and it's been for a few years that we realized about that Actually, in my case, it was since 2017, since 2017, yes, that I don't drink uh, milk. And I stopped drinking milk and I was drinking already almond milk before, but this one is so much better. It's, the taste is delicious. This, this specific oat milk is delicious. So, Um, I realized that it was actually the milk when um, I believe it was 2018 and I went with two friends to get ice cream uh, when we were living in Osoyoos in the south of Kanagan and I remember that we went to OK Falls to get the best ice cream in the area and we got the ice cream I start feeling a little bit of discomfort. 20 minutes before arriving home, I was actually sweating. And instead of dropping them off first, I went straight home. They waited for me to go to the bathroom because I had a, an extreme diarrhea with that ice cream. And the ice cream is made with milk. So I realized that not even ice cream I can have with uh, milk. And if I do have ice cream, I can't sleep home because... <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom afterwards. So yes, it, that's the reason why is um, either almond milk or oat milk that we have at home. And uh, my coffee is ready. And here it is. I don't know if you can see it. I like it dark. It is delicious. Oh, I have no idea. You have to try it with cloves and cardamom black cardamom is the one i use and it is delicious okay i'm going to stop i'm going to take a break here and um, i'm going to enjoy my coffee with some cookies and then i'm going to call my family and after that we are going to meet again for a couple of recipes inshallah see you soon um i already put my apron for me to start cooking these uh, protein cookies. Basically, this recipe has about eight ingredients, but we're going to mix first the dry ingredients and then we're going to mix the wet ingredients. And uh, the dry ingredients are two and a half of cups of flour. I use always all-purpose flour then the protein powder this is the one i use and it's delicious and it is cookies and cream flavor uh, the one i made 
last week was the chocolate toffee something and it's delicious great flavor both of them are delicious and this is going to be three and a half of protein then salt salt enhances the flavor of everything that you mix in your meals so it says half spoon of salt but i'm going to add a little bit less than that just like that to have a little bit of salt but that's it otherwise it's too much and um baking powder it has to be three quarters of a cup oh sorry of a spoon so this much let's see these are the dry ingredients, so four ingredients. Two and a half cups of flour, three quarters of a spoon of baking powder, three and a half spoons of um, protein, and then half spoon of salt or less in, in my case. So everything's here. Now we're going to whisk it a little bit. Perfect, that's it for the dry ingredients. Now we switch bowls and we're going to have the wet ingredients. And guess what? There is no water or no milk. It's only half cup of butter. And this, I don't follow it by heart. I always put more than that. And I'm going to get just a spoon, a regular spoon. And I'm going to start adding butter to my liking. I'm hoping for the best always, <laughs> but um, that's that's the way I like it. This much, I think it is between half and three quarters of a cup. And now I'm going to step away because I'm going to add the honey, which is one cup of honey. So now that we have that, unsurprisingly, this recipe takes one full egg. A little bit of vanilla. And that's as much as vanilla as we need. And now we use my favorite tool to mix everything together. So this is the mix. It is delicious by the way, but I'm not going to lick it today. I always do, but not today. <laughs> I had to lose, not gain weight. And I'm going to show you how this looks like. This is the mix of the wet ingredients. Now we are, oops, we are going to mix the rest, all the ingredients together the wet with the dry ingredients. So another good thing about this recipe is that you don't need to mix everything together to knead the flour with the dough with your hands. You just mix it all with a spatula. to see. See the consistency? It's like a dry but all together. So like you don't lose a bit. Everything is stick together, I mean stuck together 
and uh, it's soft uh, and it's humid and uh, kind of dry at the same time. Yeah, I think you're catching it. I think I'm focusing right. So that is the consistency for the dough. This is for cookies, this is for cake. Both are going to be used for the cookies. And we're going to add some butter in the bottom, just because I want to be cautious. These cookies shouldn't get stuck if you don't add anything, but I don't want to risk it. So pretty much this is the size I choose for my cookies. And uh, I just roll them a little bit, make them a little bit flat and put them on the tray. Now with a fork, this is what I like doing, like if it were a peanut butter cookie and it gives it a little bit of shape and I think I actually put my hands right on, top, on in front of the camera but this is how I do it. This is the outcome of our work of art. The oven is already preheated in at 350, so we're on to open. And bake the cookies for no more than 10 minutes. Hey Google, alarm in 10 minutes. All right, your alarm is set for 2.46 p.m. Perfect. I'll see you then. The 10 minutes have passed and these are the cookies. Look at this. And I'm going to remove one of my mittens so I can show you. Look, see how soft they are and I'm barely pressing them and they're super soft. They're cooked, well cooked for 10 minutes and they don't need more than 10 minutes. If you cook them more than 10 minutes, they are going to be dry and hard. But with 10 minutes, it's enough for you to have the perfect cookies and soft and tasty and delicious. So now they're super, super, super soft, um, but uh, I'm going to leave them to get um, cold. When, when they're cold, I'm going to show you the texture of the, the cookies. You're going to love them. I hope you make this recipe because it's really good and it's homemade. You can make, in this case it was 14, but I've made 15 with this same recipe. I've made 15 cookies and uh, what we do, for example, because we don't, we don't snack during the day. So what we do is to have either, either our morning coffee with a cookie or a cookie and a half and uh, then at night, if we don't have anything else to eat after our dinner, then we have one cookie with uh, um, a juice, a uh, fruit juice, um, to have something sweet. So it is super healthy as well, because if you think about it, it has honey and it has protein. And uh, what is not healthy in this recipe? Just tell me, what is not healthy? And besides it's homemade, so, but again, if you want it for snacks during the day, um, this is the perfect snack for you. I hope you like it. Now I'm going to get ready to make the cinnamon rolls. And I want to show you now that the cookies are cold. It took only five to 10 minutes to cool down. And see, they are toasted in, in the bottom, but they are not uh, burnt. 
that's the beauty of this recipe. Look. See, I don't know if you can tell how soft they are. But look at this. This is how soft these cookies are. They are super soft. They are amazing. And for example, what I like doing, for example, this morning I was chatting with my family and I didn't want to eat while I was talking because that's, <laughs> that's not good. Um, and even though it's my family and they don't care if I do that. But either way, I, I was molding the cookie and look, look how soft this is. It is amazing. I love this recipe. And mm, the taste, you won't regret it if you make these cookies. Now, one thing that you should know, that is what I do. Mm. I have these Ziploc bags. The ones that you use for freezer and I put them all together so they maintain this uh, consistency they don't get dry throughout the days so I put them I fold them together like this and I put them inside the bags One bag fits at least 16 or 18 cookies with ease. So everything is here, even the one I just broke. And this is how I keep them fresh for three or four days because they don't last more than that. Now uh, the ingredients for this recipe, the cinnamon recipe, so it should be warm. I heat it up a little bit for one minute. It's one measuring cup um, of milk. And I didn't care that it went to a little bit hot just because while I put the rest of the ingredients before I put the yeast, it's going to cool down um, by the time I get the yeast. Because one thing that you need to know, if you're using yeast, and in this case, I use the active dry yeast, so when you use yeast, the either water or milk cannot be either hot or too hot or too cold. Otherwise, it's not going to activate the yeast. Okay, going back to business. Uh, one cup of warm milk. The next one is one egg. Any single condition, so... All the egg in. Two and a half tablespoons of sugar. And I always put a little bit more than a full sugar every time. As you can tell, is a little bit more. That's because for me desserts have to be sweet. And even though I do it like this, it's um, never going to be extremely sweet. Again, this is organic sugar fourth of a cup of unsalted butter. One tablespoon, which is this. I put it all around. Perfect. Then another thing that is needed in this mix one and a quarter um, um, tablespoon of salt. This is as much as I'm going to add. It's a lot of salt, I'm assuming. Then before going to and adding the flour, I am going to mix everything together. Three cups of flour. The consistency of this dough has to be soft 
but not to the point that it's sticky. Um, it is going to get to the point where it's not going to get sticky on your hands. So you're going to mix everything. And now you reach the consistency of the flower that you want. It is very soft and it's not sticky. It doesn't get stuck in your hands. So see how beautiful it is? That's the consistency you want. Now you leave the flower rest for five minutes covered. Always cover your flower so no breeze gets to it. Only five minutes and then you are good to start working with it and you will see how fun it is <laughs> it is a super easy recipe i love it uh, the only part i don't like is that you have to roll it a lot for you to get the size that you want and the reason why i don't like it that much is because i'm awful at getting the shape of the dough that you should get with it's never triangular it always a little bit bigger on one side than the other, so it takes me forever to get to the size that I want for the dough. But I get it, eventually. Um, and after that, it is so much fun rolling it after putting the butter and all the other ingredients. So that right now we are going to work with those ingredients. Also, one of the main ingredients is the cinnamon, and in this case, the sugar, so it's sweet. It's about two or three spoons of sugar per spoon of cinnamon. I'd say three. Well, in this case, it's a lot of cinnamon that I'm adding, but I don't want to get short. I mean, be short of uh, cinnamon and uh, preparing it in the middle of the way of <clears throat> put in the filling so <coughs> so basically you eyeball the amount of sugar that you need you mix everything together and if it's still too dark because of the amount of cinnamon then you can put more sugar So this here, this is how it looks like. This is the filling for the cinnamon balls. Uh, the five minutes have passed uh, and we will need a little bit of flour. The dough doesn't grow. It's just a little bit softer than when I left it to rest, see? It's a little bit softer only, but that's it. Doesn't grow a big amount. Before you start rolling the dough, you spread it with your hands. So now, after stretching the dough, that's a workout, let me tell you. Then you start adding the butter. Before I continue, we are going to go now with spreading the cinnamon with the sugar. And now we're going to roll the dough. Mm. 
Now you cut the rolls. The rolls. Look how beautiful. Smaller this time. I always make them a little bit taller, but now we are going to cover them with plastic wrap. Oh my god, the cutter just fell off. You have the wrap, cut, and cover. And here you are, the rolls. And after those 60 minutes, we are going to remove them and I'm going to show you how much they grew. Sorry, I had to come back because I forgot to show you since the cinnamon rolls are now for one hour proofing, uh, how to prepare the uh, frosting for the cinnamon rolls. And this is my own frosting, I don't use the um, powder sugar but um, I replaced the powder sugar with the honey so and I think I changed other things as well like for example the cream cheese and everything but either way it's um, half cup of honey um, I always add a little bit more than half cup but not much then three tablespoons of butter then it says uh, one and a half cups of cream cheese now uh, one and a half cups is like 250 grams i am going to add almost one and a half we don't need that much. I think that for the amount of um, cinnamon rolls that we have, what I'm going to prepare is um, is enough. The Again, at the end of the day, it's up to your taste how much you add and what you add. But that, this is my frosting, right? And if you like it, you're welcome to do the same it's actually delicious to me it's delicious and a little bit of vanilla vanilla there you are and guess what we're going to use this to mix everything together which is not going to be easy at the beginning but this is what we're going to do this is a wet rag we're going to put this on top of the wet rag because now we need it the most. Okay, this is the consistency of the frosting. So, as usual, I forgot to turn my mic on. When I do things so fast, I totally forget about things. 
steps. Um, first, uh, sorry about the noise because when I bake, I don't turn the fan on, but when I cook sauces or meats, then I like having it on so the smell doesn't stay in the lingering in the apartment. But baking, no, because the smell of baking is nice, especially with the cinnamon rolls. It's a good smell and uh, it doesn't affect anything. But otherwise, the fan is on and I'm making pizza. So right now I am cooking the sauce for the pizza and that's why the fan is on. So as I was saying, without the mic and you didn't hear anything is that uh, um, I was pointing out that I forgot about the cinnamon rolls in the oven for a couple of minutes more than they should be and that's why some of the cinnamon rolls are a little bit extra toasted but still tender it doesn't affect the fact that they are soft and delicious and they don't taste burnt this is not the first time I I forget about them um, but yeah and uh, I also was explaining that some people wait until the cinnamon rolls are a little bit a little bit cooler to add the frosting but I like adding it right away the moment they are outside the oven then I like adding the frosting I'm sorry, suddenly I have like a runny nose. Maybe it's because I put the AC a little bit lower because I, when I'm cooking, I feel so hot with the stove and the oven all on. So, wow, that's a lot of frosting here. <laughs> Which is good. At the end of the day, this is like a cake that then you remove the pieces and you have all the frosting falling on the side here you are this is the pizza i am baking as you can tell you have two pizzas um, most likely one and a half are going to go today and we always have a leftover for half pizza leftover for tomorrow here is the sauce that I'm making well as you can see everything is ready we made the cookies we made the cinnamon rolls and now the pizza dinner is ready dessert is ready and this is the end of the vlog I hope you liked it and um, thank you very much for joining me today. Salam Alaikum.